Diane in Denmark here. Timer is running. This is a new series on building a wardrobe and if you're in the UK don't worry I've not got like a new flat pack from IKEA. I'm not going to build a wardrobe. The idea is that uh, you all know I'm very good on dealing with clutter but I've got two things for, and you've probably got yours maybe it's um, knickknacks or papers or books or whatever it is, children's toys. My particular things are paper, which I'm actually quite good at dealing with now, so that's not no longer a problem for me. My other thing is um, clothes. Now, I've always been a bit of a kind of clothes horse, and when I was working at the Court of Justice in Luxembourg, I always had my suit on or a nice dress, and I had a wardrobe for court, and I had a wardrobe for outside of court. Same when I was working in Edinburgh, when I worked for Woolen Merchants, I had, you know, my business corporate look and then I had the weekend look. And then I came to Denmark, had kids and I've been doing various jobs, but not, not kind of corporate work any longer. I kept a lot of my, you know, corporate suits and actually I still have some of the items today and I still use them. But what I need to do is I need to let go of a lot of the things that I have because I tend to hold on to them. And, you know, often you'll see me wearing things that I've had for 15 years. You know, there's a green uh, blouse that you all went wild for. But some of the other things I've been holding on to them. And over time, because I'm getting better at this, you know, because I'm getting better at decluttering, I'm not buying so much. When I buy clothes, I think about, you know, does it go with, can I use it with in three different ways? You know, can I use it with a pair of dark jeans? Uh, can I use it with a pair of uh, black um, trousers? Can I wear it with uh, white trousers in the summer? So I'm, I'm really good at not buying so much now. Uh, I buy very rarely and if I do buy something, often it's from a thrift store, a charity shop, or as you have seen, uh, one of the clothes swap parties that I go to, so I'd actually have to buy it. And here we are, I've got my nail varnish on today from the clothes swap party. So anyway, this is the start of uh, a new series of me paring down. I'm not going for a capsule wardrobe. I'm just paring down and I am doing it, here we go, I'm doing it in baby steps. So my plan is that I'm, I'm I didn't used to pack away summer stuff and winter stuff. Uh, in Denmark, we have four very distinct seasons. You may be somewhere in the world that you don't even have what you're about to see here. Um, winter coats, maybe you don't need those at all. But, you know, you can declutter along with me um, and hopefully you'll get something out of this too. And please don't judge me. I've got a lot of stuff here, but, you know, we're working on it in baby steps. So my plan going forward is that I'm going to spend I'm setting my timer. And I'm going to work on it at 10 minutes at a time, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll try and film as much as I can. And the way that I'm going to do it in baby steps is I'm only going to look at like one season at a time. You know, and it's the same with uh, the zones in the house. I don't need to be cleaning the whole house. You know, we, we do that weekly home blessing, you know, where we, we do a, a small clean of the main areas. But we just focus on one area, like this week, if you're watching it um, at, at the end uh, of September, we're, we're in zone four, which is the bedroom. And then next week, we'll move on to zone five, the living room. And it's the same thing I'm doing with my clothes. I'm just looking at the season that I'm in. I'm not worrying about the clothes that I have for spring or the clothes that I have for summer. If I find any of those clothes, when I'm going through them, I'm just going to pack them away and then I'll deal with those when I get to that season. So do you see how that works? I'm not dealing with the whole picture. I'm just dealing with one season at a time. And remember, you may look at this and say, oh, but I live in, uh, you know, somewhere hot. To just adapt it to fit you with all of these things. Don't worry so much what I'm doing. Think about what you are doing. Remember, you're, you're not meant to just be watching these videos, all these fly lady things, because unless you do something, nothing is going to change, you know, and there's not a better system coming, up, coming along or an easier system. This is the system and it works if you work it. So anyway, 
I'm going to get on with my, um, what you're going to see here are my uh, winter coats and autumn coats. Where, and a lot of them have I've had for a lot of years. But anyway, I'm just going to take them one at a time and decide. Um, am I just going to pack it away so I don't see it until the season? Uh, or I'm going to decide now if I declutter it or not. So anyway, first one is up. This is a really nice, um, this is a great coat for wearing in the autumn. It's great for biking. It's really warm. This is definitely a keeper. I've had that for a few years and it's extremely warm. Good. Okay, next one is a kind of, not a proper raincoat, but a short kind of uh, trench. And that one I'll keep because I actually wore that uh, last week and I've just put it through the washing machine and ironed it. So that's definitely a keeper. And this one is one that I bought and I never wear it. I think I bought it about five years ago. And you know what, that, that is going to go to the clothes swap party. So the girls will be glad to get that. That's one that can go. Okay, now I've found some, um, these are very obviously summer jackets. I'm not worrying about those, we're not that season, so they are just going back in. I'm not looking at that. Right, um, oh, I've got two on one hanger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just take them one at a time. This is actually quite a nice autumn coat that I had forgotten that I had. So that is a, a keeper. It's kind of cute. It's um, velour. That one I will keep. And that is the thing, you know, when you have, uh, I'll just put these ones right back in the cupboard, the things that I'm keeping. Uh, that is the thing when you have too many things. What is that? Oh, that's gloves. Uh, when you have too many things, you can't see what you have. Have you noticed that? Uh, it's the same thing like uh, with anything that you're decluttering in your house if you have a lot of china if you can't get to the china because it's crammed in the back of some kind of uh, dresser you don't use it because it's too difficult to get to and yet if you would just get rid of some of the rubbish that's around it you could get to it and use it and enjoy it and that's what I'm trying to do with these clothes now this is a kind of um, it's kind of got bell sleeves uh, and a belt and I don't wear this anymore but I'm thinking my daughter might like that one so I'll keep that for her and ask her and if she doesn't want it we'll go to the clothes swap party right that's it basically in that one but now we're going to come to this one I'll just show you you see that the door doesn't close on that um on that cupboard and what does that mean if the door doesn't close it means that you've got too much in there and I have a lot of stuff in here but anyway let's just dive in okay this is my uh, kind of leopard print it's a really fun coat I don't wear it that often but I wear it when I'm going into town in the evening that's a definite keeper I like that one I'm just going to put it over here just now because that's something that I want to wear uh, soon Okay, and this one, and you will notice that my coats, they all have the same kind of shape. I, I either like them with a funnel collar or without a collar uh, so that I can use a big scarf because we are in Denmark and it gets very cold. This one is a fabulous one. Red, classic, that is a keeper. And this, I don't know what this is doing in the cupboard. This is uh, from my son's high school graduation. That's going to go into a box, remember? I, I said I was putting all his um, items from his year in the States. I've put those in a box, so that's a put away. That shouldn't be in there. That was his gown. Right, and I've also found, oh, here's a coat that's just been thrown in the cupboard. This is actually my son's. If I find any of um, my kids' um, coats or my husband's coats, they will just go back and they, they will deal with those coats themselves. Let me just make some space in here. Right, what is this? Oh, here's another one. Uh, this is another funnel collar. 
It's a nice warm one that is also a keeper. Here's oh, two and one hanger again. Okay, here is a pink, um, I think you call it a duster in American, which always makes me laugh because for me a duster is just like a rag. Uh, and I've had this, let me see. Oh my goodness, I've probably had this for about 10 years. Let me see, it's got a bit of fluff on it. Uh, actually, I'll just try it on. If it still fits, I might keep it. Actually, I shouldn't be doing this because this is um, something that I would wear in the spring or the summer and I'd completely forgotten I had it. Can you see that? I'm, I'm not even going to think about that. I'm just going to put it away and I will deal with that when we get to spring, summer. That's what I said I was going to do. I'm not going to worry about those. <clears throat> get this one back on. Yeah, what I shall do with actually with all these uh, summer things is I'll just take them all off the hangers and put them in a large IKEA bag and I'll put them away until it's that time of year. Remember, baby steps. Oh, another one. What was this? This is, what is that? Well, it's a type of raincoat. Uh, that one I might wear. It's quite, um, it's quite fancy. That's something for me to think about. If I don't wear it uh, within the next couple of weeks, uh, I think I'm ready to let that one go. Do we have in here? Oh, this is the inside of a jacket that my daughter had. I'll ask her about that. Okay. Oh, and then I've got a lot of coats that belong to the kids. We have a lot of there. Okay, here's another one. This is a winter coat that I bought also, gosh, must be about 10 years ago. It's actually a good a uh, woolen one but it might need a shave you know sometimes when you get one that's kind of a uh, really good wool the only problem is there's so much wool in it that it tends to um to pill a bit but actually that's a that's a keeper okay, what's this? okay this is a winter one that i bought Oh, three or four years ago but you know what it, it's not it, it's very heavy and it's not that practical so that is going to be um that's going to be a giveaway so that's going to go to the clothes swap party because uh, i'm hosting the next clothes swap party and the idea is if we can kind of take along any winter items that we have or um sparkly party dresses you know because we're coming into kind of the festive season is coming up Okay, this is one from uh, the North Face, which um, I don't wear very often, but if we get like an ice winter, as we sometimes do, you know, sometimes we have had snow from the month of uh, October. There goes the timer. We've had snow from the month of October through to the month of March. And in winters like that, you really need a good, uh, you know, a sports coat, you know, something from the North Face, especially if you're living in Denmark. So anyway, I have managed to get rid of one, two, three. I've got four items over there. I've got several summer items that can go away. And uh, I've actually discovered a couple that I can wear right now. So go me for that. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop it there. Uh, put away what I've got and I shall be back very soon with more decluttering and um, building a wardrobe. See you soon. Diana Denmark.